It's coffee time. Okay, coffee time is sadly over, unfortunately, but it was delicious. Cappuccino with a caramel syrup and white choc syrup. It was delicious. I loved it. So I'm out and about. I'm um I'm a little awkward right now. What am I doing anyway? I'm out and about just running some errands. Been a good morning so far. Books, what am I doing? This reading vlog is a get my shit together, get my life together, get back into the habit of reading, reading vlog. I have a hundred-ish pages left in The Strangers We Know by Pip Williams. It is a thriller where um, a wife notices her husband is on a dating app and it's kind of like does she really know who he is because like is he a stranger to her it's fine it's looking at a two star right now it's not a bad book i guess in a way it's just fine there's nothing really oh god i don't want to be mean to the author but i feel like there's nothing really wow about it like i needed something wow about it but it's the only thing that's keeping me reading and keeping me interested in the book is the plot because why is this husband on a dating app but apparently he isn't but there's some shady stuff going on and i think i might be right about about what's happening and all that kind of stuff about who the actual bad guy is and about and about what's happening i know that that's a lot of info right now but uh, i don't want to say anything without spoiling it because it's a thriller you know you don't want to spoil a thriller the thrilling part is finding out for yourself and for reading the thriller and for finding out while you're reading all oh, the plot twists and all that kind of stuff but yeah it's fine like nothing is really like it's just fine i'm not really feeling anything it's just fine and then the second book i'm reading is air of fire by sarah j mass having a better time with this one uh now that i'm home after my holiday i've been home for a week and a half ish now and i'm enjoying that one a lot more i think i started reading the book at the wrong time i should have read the book probably around now or maybe after i had finished reading crown of midnight the second book but it's the third book in the throne of glass series and i'm enjoying it a lot more like i said i'm focusing more on it um i feel like it's starting to get somewhere i am enjoying the books i'm reading even the strangers we meet even though it's looking at a two star i'm still somewhat invested in it even though it is a bit eh for me unfortunately i'll talk more about it when i'm at home because like i like you can see i'm out and about right now uh it's getting hot i gotta turn my aircon on in the car i will see you when i get home with a reading update so i will see you later on i have seriously been a procrastinating finishing the strangers we keep I only have a hundred pages left. Uh, if I get started now, I might be able to finish it by tonight or tonight, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm really procrastinating very, very hard. I, I don't know if it's because of the book itself or if it's because I have not read the whole entire month of October or I haven't really properly consistently read in the month of October because I did read a little bit but not enough for me to continue on going. So I don't know entirely if I'm still in a bit of a reading slump or if I am in a reading slump. I don't know what's happening but I'm really procrastinating. Eee, I don't know what to do because I'm thinking of other books that I want to read like Air of Fire and the new um, A Shadow in the Ember book, A Flesh in the Fire and oh my god I'm so so hyped for that one it's so freaking good the series and I don't want to pick up those ones yet I think I have too many books in my head like too many reading vlog ideas for the month of November floating in my head and I'm excited to read those books for those reading vlogs and uh, look I'm, I'm just I've made it up until this point for The Strangers We Know. I have to see it through. I have to know what happens. I need to know if my theory is correct with who with who it is and what's happening. So I'm going to go do that. Like, I'm going to have to so I can continue on and move on with my life. I will let you know tomorrow morning if I have or have not finished the book. Fingers crossed, I hope I have, because I don't want to be hanging on to the book any longer. Okay, good morning, everyone. Look at the shirt. Look, let me try to zoom up. 
It has the ingredients as well for the movie Bao. If you've seen that movie, it's like a um a short story movie that Pixar usually does before their main feature and I think this one was before The Incredibles Part 2 or The Incredibles 2 I should say and I, I freaking I got this one in Disneyland and I love it it's one of my favorites as well as the other one for the birds this one is like my absolute favorite I love this shirt so much it's my first time wearing it you can see it a bit crinkled but I freaking love this short movie it's adorable. I do have a reading update for you. I don't know if I will get time to do it today. I'm hoping I will because I'm a little bit busy today. I've got a few things going on and I'm also going to the movies as well. And I'm going to see the um, Five Nights at Freddy at Fred Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So that's going to be really exciting and really interesting. So that's my plans for today. Um, I do have other stuff going on, but they're like more family oriented, so I won't talk about that. Love being in the boot. Yeah, Baba. I saw this. Hey? Yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Okay, I am back now. It's like around 2.55. It's like nearly 3 o'clock, so I still have a little bit of time before I go to the movies to watch Five Nights at Freddy's. This update, like I'm just here to update you about The Strangers We Know by Pip Drysdale. Not Pip Williams. I got confused with the different Pips. Pip Williams is the author of the Dictionary of Lost Words and the book Bunch of Jericho. So it's not Pip Williams, it's Pip Drysdale. So oopsies about that. <laughs> I finished it last night on the 1st of November and it's the 2nd of November now. So I first book of November done, which is good. Hopefully I can keep it going. Don't know what to rate this book I'm so conflicted because there were definitely parts that were yet yeah, twisty and interesting with how it, some things were revealed like see I'm really going to struggle with how to rate this because there were some uh, twists that I actually liked but at the same time uh, some things especially towards the end felt rushed the writing did what it did to keep the book going, to keep the, the plot somewhat interesting, and it was interesting for the most part. It's just, I feel like the writing could have had a little bit more to it. It just felt a little basic. I'm no author, so I wouldn't know, but for me, it just felt like the writing needed a little bit more of something, but the writing in the book did what it was supposed to, which was tell a story, and it did keep me entertained for the most part. It's written like... How can I say this? It's like she, like the main, or not main author, the main character is recounting the story. So I think if it had have followed the story instead of it being recounted to you, if we had have followed the story with the main character, I think it would have been a bit better. And some things towards the end were wrapped up a little bit too quickly for my liking. I would have liked to have had a little bit more, a little bit more stakes, like a little bit more uh, tension, like, oh my god, is, is this going to work out? Is this going to work out? Is everything going to end up okay? I would have liked a little bit more of that because things were just wrapped up a little bit too good and I would have liked to have had some some issues that made it look like something wasn't going to go right but things just went a little bit too smoothly just wait a minute oh my god out oh my gosh okay I'm back now the dog wanted to go out okay oh my god that was difficult to do I would have liked to have seen the character go through a little bit more shit to make it a little bit more realistic. There were some things that we found out when it seemed a bit convenient for the plot at that point in the story. And I think it all boils down to the fact that we should have known these things as the character herself was finding out these things instead of it just popping up conveniently for the sake of the plot at that time. There was a period of, there was a time in the book where I was actually pretty invested in it, but then it just 
it kind of fell a little flat for me unfortunately yeah I, I still need to think about what to write to this book i think i need to read some other people's reviews and see if they align with me because i'm I am stuck on what to rate this book. I really don't know what to do. What am I going to do tonight? I do want to actually get back into reading Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. I do want to get a really good chunk of the way through. I'm nearly at the halfway point now. Yeah, I really don't have too many plans. I'm going to see Five Nights at Freddy's and like, I should probably start heading out in like 45 minutes. So I've got little less than an hour. But yeah, not much planned for tonight. So hopefully I'll get some decent reading hopefully fingers crossed it's only thursday thursday friday don't have anything on tomorrow i don't have any plans so i'm hoping to get a lot of reading done in that time as well because i do want era fire done pretty quickly uh, i know it only took me two days to read throne of glass the first book in the series then it took me like a little longer to read crown of midnight i had i had a few things going on at that time and it's taking me even longer to read era fire the third book so ee, hopefully i can get through this one pretty quickly since I don't really have much plans for tonight and tomorrow. Hopefully I can get a decent chunk in. Fingers crossed. I'm really really desperately hoping so. 8.30 at night now. I did go to see Five Nights at Freddy's and you know I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. I know the basics of the lore of the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. Like I know some stuff about it. I've seen a lot of gameplays. I've been watching a lot of FNAF video games from uh, the king of FNAF, Markiplier. I've been watching a lot of his videos. He is definitely the king of FNAF. You can't say no, he's incredible at the games. I would really like to go through his backlist and see if he has... Because no, I'm pretty sure he would have... No, I know he has done the other FNAF games. I will need to go back and have a look at those because I've only just watched the recent ones and a lot of the fan games. Um, like the fan games that the fans of the franchise of the FNAF franchise have created. I'm excited to delve into those videos. The movie itself, especially towards the end, definitely hinted at little things that could possibly happen in the future for possible for possible future installments. It was definitely obvious with some of the wording choices that some of the characters have said, but am I complaining? Not really, because it all depends on how the second one looks and the lore of FNAF, like where else can they go with Five Nights at Freddy's? I don't entirely know. Apparently there's a lot, so I heard it's a very, very popular gaming franchise. And I would, like I keep saying, I would like to delve into it. Would I play the game? Pro probably not, because I'd be terrible at it. But you never know. You never know. Um, yeah, that, I think that's all I had to say tonight. Look, I, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot that I have to have a video uploaded tomorrow on Friday. It's Thursday now. Like, it shouldn't take me long. Fingers crossed. It shouldn't take me long to film and edit and get all that sort of stuff. Ever since I've been back on the holiday, I've just been wanting to just get out. I just want to get out. I want to go exploring. I just want to get out. I want to get out of the house. But I know that I'm going to need to have days to myself as well and days where I just do nothing but not now not now I, I want to get out I'm in the mood to want to get out but I know I need videos to film so usually sleeping helps me feel a bit better about the day after and the next day and the things I have to do the next day so hopefully sleep will help me uh, like feel better about it and the things I have to do the next day especially when I'm not feeling in the mood for it the night before like I am now. What am I doing tonight? There is some YouTube videos I want to watch just to chill and relax. Hopefully get as much reading as I possibly can get done in Air of Fire because I don't know how much time I'm going to get with reading tomorrow. I really don't, especially with the filming and editing I have to do tomorrow. Oh, I'm a bloody idiot, honestly. Such an idiot. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all. That's the update. Good morning again. It is a Friday now. I have my Mickey Mouse shirt on from Disneyland because I miss Disneyland so much. 
It was incredible. I love Disneyland. Considering it's a white... Oh, oh my god, this is the OG. This is the OG. This is like Steamboat Willie OG. Oh my god. I did not even realize that. Holy shit. Because I went to Disneyland when they were celebrating their 100 years. So I was there for the 100 year celebrations, which is just incredible. And I was bouncing up and down and jumping up and down when I found that out. And you can see my obsession with New York there with my <laughs> little um, Legos. There you go. There's my finger. My little Legos of New York. I love New York as well. I've been there twice already. So yeah, but oh my god, I cannot believe this is the OG. Oh, that's, that's, that just makes it so much better. So I do have a bit of an update. I actually put aside Aerofire because I am not in it. I'm not in the mood for it. So I just decided, okay, let's just put it aside for another time, which will most likely be next year because my brain focus has not been for something that is like six, seven hundred pages, which I'm a little nervous about how... Um, a flesh in the fire is going to go because that's like a 700 page book so I'm a little nervous about that one fingers crossed I'm hoping I can actually read a flesh in the fire pretty quickly but just air of fire I, I, I just couldn't I can't I could not focus on it so I just said no I'm not doing it and today is apparently going to be some cleaning but it's only going to be like a little bit of cleaning which is fine I'll try not to dirty the shirt too much but considering I'm wearing white I will most likely make a mess on my shirt. If not, then I'm then I'm very, very lucky if I don't. Like in terms of eating food, I'll probably make a mess on my white shirt because I usually do. If I wear a white shirt, bam, boom, messy food on my shirt. I don't know how it always happens, but it does. So I do need those two videos to film today. Hopefully they won't take long. I've got to edit one and publish one because one has to be out today. Other planes, I don't know what other planes are. I really don't. So it's going to be a whatever the heck I feel like day. And I feel like I need one of those. I don't know if that means I will be going out because I'm still a bit desperate to want to go out but yeah it's a whatever the heck I want to do day and I love those days so goodbye for now I'll see you soon Monday now I think you deserve a bit of an update uh I don't know if you can hear that clickety clackety sound that's my dog oh there she is Maggie hello wait 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 let me show it to you Oh. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, poor darling. Wait a minute, let me put you. There we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. Okay, so, yes, update time. I have read the 10th volume of Spy Family by Tetsuya Endo. And, oh, Lloyd. We get Lloyd's backstory. I actually don't know how I want to rate it because I've given all of the volumes up until this point are four stars. I've really, really enjoyed them and I thought they were a great fun time. This one I think might end up being a five star. Just you get to see more of the, uh, I guess you could say the process of being a spy and we get to see a bit of a background of Twilight. We get to see how, um, like his training, I'm assuming. It was so heartbreaking with Lloyd. It was devastating. It was so, so sad. And we do get like the modern, uh, not modern day, but we do get the, um, the present day as well. And present day was really good. Um, a bit of a plot twist, bit of a shock. It's, it, it's getting really good now. Spy family, it's getting so good. And just yeah, like I'm having a great time so far. But yes, my family is so good. I get I have so many more chapters to catch up on, and I think I want to do that tonight. Do I want to do that tonight, or do I want to? Ooh, see, that's going to be a little bit tricky because volume 11 doesn't like of Spy Family doesn't come out until next year. And there's so many chapters of Spy Family on Shonen Jump, which is where I'm reading my manga now. So I don't know how I'm going to calculate that. Shit, okay. That's actually going to be very interesting. I don't know how I'm going to calculate that. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Unless I just not 
calculate the spy family pages like chapter pages and maybe continue on with um either attack on titan or jujutsu kaisen because those volumes are out like with the chapters i'm reading because i'm still in early stages of jujutsu kaisen but i'm very far ahead in attack on titan i think i only have like seven or eight volumes left I'm, I'm getting close to the end but i don't know how i'm going to calculate the chapters like i said unless i just not calculate or add the chapter pages to my statistics and just leave it for when the volumes come out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to think on that one. But yeah, I've been having a good time. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say in this clip. I've just updated you to say last night I read a volume, like volume 10 of Spy Family, and I think it might be a five-star read because it was just so damn good. I really, really enjoyed it. It is time for me to end this reading vlog right here. So, um, do I feel like I have gotten back into the habit of reading? I feel like I have. Like, I'm really starting to get back into a Spy Family now, and oh my god, the points that I've left off on, holy cow, oh my gosh, it could go very very dark like or very uh, just oh my god the point that I stopped at last night because if I had it kept reading um like I was just getting a little bit tired and I thought no just stop where you are I think I had mentioned that I was a little bit worried I didn't know what to do with the chapters um whether to like the chapters in the manga that I read I don't know whether I wanted to uh, put them towards like my pages that I've read throughout the year throughout the month or I don't know if I were to wait for those number of chapters to be published in a volume and just uh, calculate it that way. So what I've decided to do is I am going to continue reading on the chapters and when the volumes come out because I feel like the volumes would be much more easier to count towards my like my statistics and like how many books I've read than the actual chapters would. So I'll continue reading the volumes. No, I'll continue reading the chapters when the volumes come out, when the volumes publish in English, I will then add it towards my statistics, add it towards my reading goal. I might actually reread those, those chapters in those volumes that are published. Uh, depending on how long of a time it's been between, I might do like a quick reread of that new volume that got released and just read those chapters that, that are in the newly released volume. So that that is the way I'm going with that and I do feel like reading is getting back. I feel like my reading schedule is getting back on track so I'm very very happy about that. I read uh, two books, yeah two books and a few chapters um, of a Spy Family that is. So I read uh, The Strangers We Know by Pippa Drysdale which was just a fine book. I gave it two stars. There wasn't anything well about it. I thought it was a bit predictable in some areas, but there were still some twists I didn't see coming, which was a really nice surprise. And then I read Spy Family Volume 10 by Tetsuya Endo, and oh my god, five star read. So bloody good. I really loved it. Get to see the background of Lloyd and how he is and why he is the way he is. His actions, his life experience that make him who he is. And also getting to see a little bit of the of the spy agency and also how they operate a bit. We do know how they operate. They do whatever they can to stop propaganda building, to stop negative affects um building so that the east doesn't have like any more weapons to use against the west or vice versa pretty much whatever they can do to keep the peace between the two warring nations so overall this reading vlog was a bit of a success and thank goodness it was i'm i'm like i'm really happy that i'm getting into the habit of reading now i think honestly i think that month long break from reading really helped me and I do think I need to take like little mini breaks in between my reading so that I actually um, enjoy reading again and not feel like it's a slog. Uh, I was worried about there being a little bit of a reading slump but thank goodness that did not happen. Thank goodness. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in another video. Bye for now.